My name is Sarah, and this is my poem, To Whom It May Concern. From an individual who can no longer tolerate your actions, you are responsible for everything that comes out of your mouth. And if you aren't careful, you'll be responsible for the vomit coming out of mine. I hope that disgusts you the way you disgust me every time you say something that invades the comfort of those around you. I have heard your apologies. Your, I'm sorry you feel that way is just mean you're sorry your actions actually had consequences. Your clueless behavior speaks to your ignorance, not your innocence. My reaction speaks to my instincts, not my level of tolerance. I should not have to field questions about the size of my chest or listen to comments related to the modesty of what I wear or even have to tell you this because you should know not to ask me about my body. You don't get to decide if what I wear is decent just because you claim to uphold ideals of righteousness. Throwing your unsolicited praise on those around you for doing what you deem to be correct. Save your unspoken, not all men. I have heard it lying under every sentence. I don't care if you don't understand anymore. Why should I be the one who is understanding or apologetic? To the men who think it's okay to give compliments about modest clothing or ask about our bodies. We didn't ask you. I didn't ask you. You aren't helping me. Stop telling me you are. You aren't being kind to me. Stop believing that you are. You make women suspicious. You twist insults into what you think is kindness. You continue to convince yourself of your perfection as you. You. It has to be about you, even as I feel myself fade into the background. I want to tell you to respect others. You're rather good at respecting the image of yourself. Respect me. Don't tell me you respect me. Prove it. If you want my appreciation, educate yourself. Learn how to talk to a woman. Learn how to represent yourself as a man. To the girl who thinks no one will believe her because he only said something, I see you. To the girl who thinks if she wasn't physically assaulted, then she's not a real victim, I understand you. To men, all men, there are boundaries that are unacceptable to cross. They occur long before you reach out to touch someone who doesn't want to feel your hand. To not all men, your work is unfinished. Join us, help us eradicate the injustice that so many fall victim to. Silence the disrespectful comments. Don't stand in front of me and proclaim how good of a man you are. Stand with me and show me, show everyone. I want to live in a world where I don't feel like I have to pull my jacket tighter around me or wear winter clothes in the pleasant breezes of late spring. My fear of others has become a fear of being myself. I don't want to be afraid anymore, but I forgot how to be brave. So at least today, you don't matter anymore. At least today, I am free of what you think, free of your questions, your comments, your concerns about my body that you don't deserve to voice, to whom it may concern, or to whom it doesn't concern because my body and my spirit belong to me.